It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Every January, there seems to be a spicy crisp that comes out. Last year were the Doritos extra chili and cheese heat wave type thing. They were fantastic. This year, we got Pringles Sizzling. This is the medium, the kicking sour cream. Picked these up in Asda for £1.50. About a week ago now, these are the Pringles Sizzling Spicy. So the first pack is medium. This is spicy and it's their barbecue flavour. Again, as the £1.50. And then I couldn't get the other flavour. I had to wait and wait. I wanted to do them together. I couldn't get the other flavour. Wandered into Tesco's, one of the small um, convenience Tesco type stores. Uh, wandering through and bang I seen them and there they were last two packs I thought right we're gonna get these in so I picked these up today this morning in fact these are the Pringles sizzling extra hot cheese and chili don't they sound amazing really looking forward to these they're 180 grams again they were £1.50 on offer so I'm gonna start off with a medium flavor we won't go hot straight away, we'll move through the gears of, of spice. So here is the oh, medium kicking sour cream. I reckon these would be all right. As always, filled to the, to the brim. They're quite pale, but I imagine, you know, the, the different colours of these will change when they get hotter. I imagine the, the extra hot cheese and chilli to be red. These are pale looking. Mm. I do love a Pringle. I'm not going to mess about. Oh. Oh, so you get that classic sour cream flavour and then you get a kick and I tell you the kick mm. That spicy kick is really nice. Really nice. It's like um, a slow warming. It's all on the back of the throat here. Quite a kick as well. So classic sour cream, chive type things with a big, quite a big chili kick. I'm not messing about. Quite a big chili kick. And the fun fact about Pringles, I always wondered who owned them. Always wondered, never see the stuff on the back, the company owner. I'm interested in stuff like that, whether it was secretly KP or secretly Walkers. It's not. It's Kellogg's. They're owned by Kellogg's in Europe. There's a, we'll see if we can get it to focus. Kellogg's. That surprised me. They're lovely. Lovely burn on the throat. Fantastic. Let's move on to flavour two. The sizzling spicy barbecue flavour. <clears throat> yeah. And there's the difference. Look, look at the colour. They're already... It's all, it's all marketing, it's marketing, you know, they've coloured them a little bit kind of deeper now to, to make them look a little bit more spicy. It's a little bit of paprika that they put on the crisps to get them to look that colour. 
smell spicy. Let's just tuck in, shall we? Get into them even. Mmm. Barbecue crisps, barbecue Pringles, a little bit more flavour on that one. Mmm. It is another level, the spice. The spice is another level. But it's not like a huge leap. It's not a massive leap in, in spice. It's it's a little bit, actually, <laughs> actually, as I'm speaking, it is, it's a very slow burn. It's a, it's a, it's a slow burn that increases and increases. So I'm going to change my mind a little bit. Very slow burn, but yeah, very, quite hot, quite hot. I think I prefer the sour cream. Barbecue flavour crisps. I've always been a little bit hit and miss. They're okay. They're okay. But they're not quite beef and onion, are they? You know, everyone's favourite, beef and onion. So. Two down. One to go, the spice level did increase. I'm really hoping. Oh, there's a right burn on them barbecue crisps. Whew. I'm really hoping now that these are going to be extra hot. These cheese and chilli. I'm hoping they're going to be fabulous. They seem to be the best seller out of the three. Couldn't find them for a week. Oh, and that whole marketing thing I was talking about. The barbecue flavours are actually deeper in colour. They're quite light. They look a lot, look at the difference in colour from what they're supposed to be. To what they're showing us here. That's a complete different look to the crisp mm. Mm. oh yeah oh ho, 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 ho. they're lovely oh yeah they're like um cheesy watchets they're like cheesy watchets and oh my goodness me, the spice. I can instantly feel my top lip, lip starting to sweat. Mm. And they've got a right, oh they're fantastic. They taste, <clears throat> woo, the Doritos, what were they called? Were they extra hot chili cheese or something, or extra hot? This is Pringles' answer to the Doritos. This is Pringles' answer to them really hot Doritos that they brought out last year. They like they were like extreme heat or something cheese extreme heat. They were hot. These 
They're not as hot as the Doritos, but they've got that lovely, cheesy flavour there. Can you remember cheese puffs? That cheddary, cheesy flavour of the cheese puffs. Oh! This is that classic extra strong cheese puff flavour, but with loads of chilli. Mmm! They're, fant <coughs> They're fantastic. They, my new favourite crisp. Oh, the tongue's on fire, really nice and hot. Top lip sweating. Got me doing that kind of breathing through my teeth. You know you do that thing, ooh, when something's really hot. Saliva glands are in overdrive. Yeah, they're hot. They're hot. They're really nice. I like them. I'm going to go through and rate these now. Um, the kicking sour cream for me got an 8 out of 10. The spicy barbecue wasn't overly fussed on them, to be honest. They get a 6 from me. But if you're a fan of barbecue crisps, you're going to love them. These extra hot cheese and chilli. Oh. They are the pick of the bunch. The pick of the bunch. They are a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Milo Craft Beer. I hope you liked the video. Please comment. Please subscribe. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.